Hi, it's Wanda from Alanda Craft, and today I'm going to show you how to make the magic pillowcase. It's quick and easy, so let's get on and show you how to do it. So what we need to make our pillowcase is a piece of material 27 inches long across the width of the fabric. Now the width of the fabric is when you get it off the bolt, it always comes with the two salvages together. So that's the width of the fabric. So we just remember 27 long and just straight across. Now we also need a piece that's 9 inches and that's going to be for the cuff. So again, width of the fabric, 9 inches wide. And we've made our trim, we've cut it to two and a half inches, but you can cut it to whatever you like because it's not going to add any length to the pillow itself. And as you can see here, we quite like this, this width here, but if you wanted to make a, a three or a four inch or even just a half inch, you can do that, there's no problem. So let's get started and uh, start constructing this pillow. So we're going to open all our three pieces and we're going to have them laying flat. Now you'll need a, a good table or work area to do this on. So they're all flat. Now we're going to take our trim and what we'll do is we're going to iron that in half. All right, we want a nice crisp fold on that. Now the next thing is we take our cuff piece and we lay it face side up and then we take our main body piece and we're going to lay that also just on top, right sides up. And just make sure that you match your salvages on this one side. Okay, so we're only matching them on one side and we want the top to be all nice and even. So I'll straighten that out as we go. And then we're going to take our trim piece and again, we're going to make sure that we have the raw edges facing away from you. So the folded piece will be looking at you. And again, we're going to lay the salvage edge there and we're going to line that up across here. Now you'll notice that when we do this, that we have none of these salvages at the other end match. And that's okay, because materials come in all different widths. But we'll fix that later on, so don't worry about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pin these together. Now make sure that you have everything level, so it must all line up neatly. Alright, because otherwise what will happen is when we sew our seam and turn it through, we'll have edges that are missed or but pieces will come undone. So I'm just going to go ahead now, take my time, don't rush this. Okay, Okay. so just make sure that you pin like this, with the pins coming down um, rather than across, and you'll see why we're going to do that in a moment. Don't worry about the excess at the end. Okay, so that's fine. So now what we do is we take our main piece that we have here and we're just going to very gently roll that up. Okay, so that's about far enough. And now we're going to be bringing, this is the other end of our cuff piece, we're going to bring that over we're going to match it up here Now we're going to take our pin out and what we're going to do is we're going to pin it the other way okay come along make sure that everything is there it just makes it easier if you pin it the first time so that you know that the other three pieces are already lined up nicely so now all you're doing is adding this extra piece okay and use as many many pins as you need don't stint on your pinning it's much better to have too many pins now than to sew this thing together and find you've got bits missing and coming apart okay so here's our roll I'll just fix those bits up in a moment here's our roll make sure everything is lined up nice and neat nicely pinned and what we're going to do now is we're going to take this to the sewing machine and with a quarter inch seam, I'm going to sew all the way down here through all layers. So just being careful not to catch that roll that's in there underneath. And if you, as long as you haven't taken it up too far when you've been rolling it, you'll be fine. It won't catch. So I'll go and do that now. 
Okay, so I've sewn my seam along the edge at a quarter of an inch. Now this is where the magic happens and this is the exciting part because you just reach in, grab the main fabric and just start pulling it through. So just keep pulling it all the way through. Okay. This is just such a neat and easy way to do these pillar cases and they all look so professional when they're done. Okay, so here we go, we've got to the end now. All right, so here you go. So we have our trim, we have our cuff, and our pillowcase, not finished yet, and our trim. See, everything's caught in nicely, and as long as you've made sure of that with your pinning, and on the back, there are no seams, look at that. We'll iron that all down and uh, make it nice and neat. Okay, so I've ironed my cuff nice and crisp. It has a nice crisp fold on it here, and my seams are nice and flat. So now we need to trim off those salvages that we had at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is just fold the material in half. So this is long ways. I've still got it wide open. And just bring it up and match the, the two ends. You don't have to worry too much about this. Now, remember we, we had one side where we matched all the salvages together. We will trim them, but at the moment I'm going to do the other side. So what I'll do here is just match those together and just pop a pin in there just to hold everything in place. Now, we come to the other end. Just smooth it out a bit. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to line up your salvage. Right. And... Right. We're going to cut our, fa our salvages off at the point where we have the least. So this piece here, this green piece, is shorter than all the rest. So we need to come back to there. So I line this up onto um, my mat. And I'm going to take off about an inch and a half. But it'll depend on entirely on where your salvages, your shortest, sal your shortest salvage ends. That's a tongue twister. Okay, so we've got them all lined up here. Okay, so that's done on that side. So now we're just going to bring the other side around because remember we still have salvages over here, but they're not um, they're nice and neat, so we don't have to take as much off. And we'll just line it up and probably take a half an inch off on this side. Just put a new blade in it's not wanting to do the right thing there we go all right so we're all nicely trim and now what we're going to do is we're going to sew it up so we'll just open that up now okay so here's here we are and to do that now you can either put the sides together making sure that you match your trim and everything sits nice and neat so that when you turn it through it looks looks professional and you could just do a quarter inch seam and then zigzag across. You can use your serger, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a French seam. So we have to fold our material right sides together. So what I'll do is I'll just fold that and pin it, match it and pin it. And I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam right down here on the front, right sides facing. And then I'll pivot at the corner and I'll sew a quarter inch right to the fold and I'm going to back stitch there and I'm going to back stitch where I start off and then we'll turn it through and we'll finish the seam off so if you haven't made a French seam we'll go through this step by step as we're doing it so you can see I've sewn my quarter inch seam with the right sides facing outwards now what we need to do is to cut some of this bulk off around this edge and why we're going to do that is because we're going to turn our pillow slip inside out and we're going to do another quarter inch seam so that we get this effect here. So you can see it'll be all nicely finished on the inside looking very neat and professional and could still give us our nice neat seam on the outside. So what we're going to do is take probably a good healthy sixteenth of an inch off and I'll do that here and I'm going to do it along the bottom and also along the side. Okay, so that'll be your next step.
and we're doing that so that it gets caught nicely when we do the seam on the inside. Oh, there's trouble with my knife today. Not sure what's going on. Okay, so you can see there we've still got a nice healthy seam, but it'll get caught when we turn this through. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn our pillowcase inside out and we're going to push our corners through. So we just push it through and then come down to our corners and just push them out gently. Take, take it easy, you don't want to break through your stitching or your material. So then what we need to do is we need to just roll those seams, that seam. So we take our pillowcase and we get the seam and we just roll it between our fingers so the seam's on top. And then we're going to give that a good press so that it stays in place so we can do our next seam. But you're going to do that all the way down where you've sewn before and across the bottom. So just come down all the way, gently rolling that so the seam's on top and give it a press. Okay, so I've now pressed the seam flat. Now you don't have to press the seam, you can just roll it, pin it and sew it. But I find that by pressing it, it just that little bit of extra preparation makes it so much easier to sew things in the end. So it's a little bit more time, but I think it's well worth it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way down the side and all the way across the bottom. And that's so that we can encase this raw edge here so those seams won't show. And we wouldn't want that because they're on the right side of the pillow. So this is going to encase all those seams and make it nice and neat and give us a nice professional look. So as you can see, I've stitched all the way around. I did a back stitch at the beginning and at the end here, I've um, and I backstitch at the end, but at the corner I've pivoted a quarter of an inch from the end. Okay, so I've come down here, done a pivot, and sewn right to the end and done a backstitch. So now we'll turn our pillowcase through, and you can see here now that the seams are all beautifully caught and there's no rough edges showing, no threads. We'll turn it through. Okay. And there we are, she's all finished. You just give it a final press. These would make ideal gifts. And here you are, you can see, here's one already on its pillow. Right, so if you've liked this tutorial, give us a like, a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out for written instructions on our website. And we'll catch you next time.